Hi, welcome to Rugby Pass. I'm Charlie Willett. You can follow me on Instagram at Charlie Rugby. I've worked with Axe Rugby to bring you this full body workout. This workout should be suitable for all levels from beginners to pro athletes. Why don't you follow along with us? Starting out with front squat, this is a really great exercise that hits all with your lower body. When you're setting up for front squat, you want to really focus on getting your elbows high like this and sitting the bar back. If you kind of like tuck your chin back and then put it back, you'll get a little bit more room. Should be sitting comfortably on your shoulders. If it's hurting your collarbone, you're not in the right position to set up again. Key with front squat is just to get that depth 90 degrees or below and keeping that core really tight. If you're struggling, you can always add a box. And a good place to start is always kettlebell squats or dumbbell squats until you're confident with the bar. So your RDLs are a really good deadlift variation for getting those nice strong hamstrings. As with any deadlift, you want to make sure you're keeping your core tight and your back neutral. Really important. But as you're going down, just keeping the weight evenly distributed, you should feel your bum coming back away from you and the bar should end around mid shin. Then you just pull it back up and go again. <laughs> Lateral lunges are a really good accessory exercise. Top tip for this is just to check your mobility and range of motion before you add weight. You wanna make sure that where your foot's coming out, your knee isn't going wildly over your toes and you're just keeping that core nice and stable. Um, single leg hip thrust is another one of those really good single leg exercises to make sure you've got even distribution of strength and power between your legs. If you're finding it a little bit difficult on the balance side, you can go down to double leg and work from there. Another really good glute and hamstring exercise. Key points to focus on is keeping your core engaged and your chin in neutral so you're not straining. Don't forget to look after your calves. Really important both for overall leg strength, helping you sprint faster and also for that ankle stability. For calf raises, you want to add weight when you can as soon as you're confident with that exercise. It's okay if you need to take a light grip on something for stability. If you're wobbling all over the place, probably bring the weight down. Thank you so much for following along with me. If you want more rugby workouts, check out this playlist here and make sure you're subscribed to Rugby Pass.